Great, let me start recording and share my screen. There you go. So I have um I have cloned our project is right here. I guess reading it from GitHub is gonna be a better idea. Um and let's start first with these players as dictionaries. Oh nice, yeah. And so that is for the first solution, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, first uh yeah, first assignment. Let me create the bird environment as usual and just there we go. So the first one, I'm gonna pull the tests here. And so it's just to give a little bit of context and maybe it's also useful. We are starting with these squats data that it's already, so this project kind of starts with these CSV files, but of course we're not reading the actual CSVs. They are already read and parsed not completely parsed because they're just ugly lists, but it's like the first step. Um, what we have done, the way to read, uh, let me see if this, if this is the one. Yeah, so the way to read the file, the CSV file, and turn it into a list is really simple. Um, it's actually this code right here. Of course, we wanna like obviate that part. Why is this thing taking so long? because um, it's kind of out of the scope. We don't want you guys to get like hang out on the file part. We want you just to, to focus on, on the dictionary part, but it's really simple. It's just easy and it's one of the powerful features of Python, you know, reading files and working with files is extremely simple. Um, we are just opening the file. We receive a file name. We open the file. We create a CSV reader. So Python in the standard library has a CSV library, which is really handy. We just read. We create a reader out of the file we have open. And then we just, line, we just read each one of the lines. As simple as that. And what we're creating again is a list. So each one of these rows is going to be a list that is going to be and each one of the columns, right, it's going to be one element. So we will end up with, let me see the list with squat datum. There we go. So we have, there we go. This is a table. So we're going to have with, we end up with a list that contains more lists, right? But if we focus on just one of the internal lists that have data, we have one goalkeeper, the name. So we have one goalkeeper, the name, etc. So we build a list and each one of the elements of the list corresponds to each one of the columns here. And of course, all these lists, this is an element, this is an odd element are contained in a bigger outer collection, which is the outermost list. So that's like kind of the context. Why is this thing not working? I have another virtual environment somewhere here. Um, <laughs> uh, PyTest, maybe. All right, I think this works. All right, so what, um, that's the first thing and important part because we know, I mean, we made it really explicit when we were explaining the, the project and now again, there is nothing to, to actually do with these files. Everything is contained in these squats data. So the first assignment is asking us to turn this whole thing into a list containing dictionary. So we're basically, we want to get to turn this thing into a dictionary. So I'm gonna go ahead and start really simple here. And I actually I can use this main file. And what I have is this is going to be a player as list. 
it's going to be this whole thing. And of course, I want to turn this thing as a player, as a dictionary, right? I want to represent the player's dictionary. And here, one th important thing to note is the same data can be expressed or can be contained in different data structures, right? It's completely the same thing. I mean, not completely because the dictionary is going to have names, but uh, the end result of your solution can work in the same way if you use dictionaries or lists. It's just what is better, and this is judgment that we always say it's important to have. <clears throat> so this is a list that contains more lists. So I want to simplify it, and I want to focus, right? I want to like zoom in and just care about one of these lists. If I can handle that, if I can nail that down, if I can turn these lists into a dictionary, then it's, it's just going to be this, like applying the same thing to all these objects inside this outermost list. So um, what I want to do is, if we check clearly the tests, is that I will expect these, um, these uh, object, that is this dictionary, that will just turn this list, right, this list into uh, this dictionary. So I'm just going to copy this thing and paste it. And player as dict is going to be pretty much the same thing as here. But if I want to use this object, right, I will have this is going to be what position is going to be caps is this one right here. Caps. So it's going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is going to be 4. Um, the club is the fifth position. Actually, it's the sixth position, but it's index five. So we're going to use here, it's going to be five, right? And then I have, what else? I have two teams. Uh, in this case, hard, I think it's, so I'm going to use the table to quickly test. Where is the table? Right here. So we have a uh, country, it's the, so the club country is the second to last. So club country is going to be the player uh, at uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Or I could use minus 2, for example, it should also work, but I won't actually use 7 so we can don't complicate it. This one is going to be six, and as simple as that. And this one right here, date of birth, is going to be zero, one, two, three. And you guys see where this thing is going. Just simplifying it. Players as list, this is its number two. This is a zero, zero, and this is one. It's one, and this is the last one. I think it's eight, right? So we have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So let's print this guy and see what it has. And if it works, maybe we have a bug or something. Yeah, so let's actually run a test here. So I, I can, I'm expecting, as I chose the first element in the list and I have the test already written for me right here, this is like the truth. This is like the ultimate truth. My player has to be exactly the same thing as this dictionary. So what I'm gonna do is just assert, right? And manually, I'm like manually building a test, assert that my player as dict is equals to this guy. And let's see if it fails. It'll be interesting if it fails, so you guys can see comparisons. No, but it worked, sorry. <laughs> uh, works. I can make it fail on purpose. Yeah, there you go. So I am turning one dictionary, sorry, one list into a final dictionary. Um, by the way, I will use your code, Brian, but I think it's a little bit too complicated to start with that. Maybe if we just solve it like manually in the easiest possible way, we can then simplify it. So here we're receiving this squats list, right? Squats list. And we have to turn each one of these lists into a dictionary. So I can kind of 
get this functionality and abstract it, like divide and conquer. I'm just focusing on turning one player into a dictionary. Then it's going to be a, uh, a matter of just iterating over the list and turning each one of the players into a dictionary. So it's just, I'm going to like factor that out in a different function. I'm going to use def, I don't know, um, player uh, list player to take something. Um, usually it's a good uh, practice to use a verb for a function. So it's gonna be player as list. I'm gonna just to return players list. I'm gonna return this player. So return player as date. So before before I do anything else, I'm gonna run first these tests so I can make sure actually the test that I'm gonna run is this one for the first assignment. So I see the red. It's a good practice to like see the things failing first. Hi test, tests, 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 the pi minus k. So there you go. So I'm failing, of course, because I'm returning nothing. But here I'm receiving this list. So I have to start doing four player in squads list, right? And I will turn this player that is a list into the player as a dict. I'm gonna do uh, transform player, right? And once I have transformed it, I have to Put it inside a list because the outer data structure is will still be a list. I will just transform this one. So what I'm going to do is I will create a, an empty list at the beginning. Um, players as or take no, no, players dict no list, and I will just player list dot a pen player state there you go and I will finally return the player players list save it and let's see if it works there you go it worked so this is like the most basic solution it does have some repetitive code we might say um, in this case like this is you guys can see some hard coding if you, you want it works so it's completely fine and it's it's clear to the eye if we if we get the code that you pass it's it's efficient uh, we have this the code right here oh, copy this is the code that you paste brian i mean it works but it's harder i mean it's a little bit tricky to the eye. I usually prefer something along these lines, except of course I know who I'm working with and that this is going to be um, clear. So before we like attack this solution, do you guys have any questions, Brian, any comment? So you were, that, the way you did it was a, a lot more manually, manual than I was, than I think that uh, my partner and I were trying to to do and it makes sense what what you just did makes sense it actually makes a lot more sense to me than what my partner put together just because i i don't know all the uh, i don't know all the parts of what my partner uh, did but that's a lot of, that's a lot more <laughs> that's a lot of lines compared to compared to what Lynn put together yeah but it makes sense. Yeah, of course um Again, it's just yeah, it's a matter of readability. What a, what looks better to the eye, refactoring this thing. It's usually better to start simple and then increase maybe a refactor to make it I don't know uh, cleaner or, or in this case it's I mean the solution it's it's a little bit smarter. That's it. Uh, but it's hard to judge which one is better. There's no performance difference. One reads better than the other one. One looks a little bit smarter than the other. 
I mean, it's, it's hard in these cases to judge. Um, so it's usually, what I prefer is to start super manual and then improve the smartness or the readability or the performance or whatever than the opposite, you know, going super crazy and then having to, to put it down later. It's, that's, it's, it's harder to do that in that way. Um, this particular solution, what is taking into account is matching each one of the, so if I could, um, like, if I could, how can I, I don't think I care. So it's taking these, it's building a list and it's giving, respecting the order is giving each one of the dictionaries right here, the, the color change is ugly. If I could put like these two dictionaries side by side, it'd be amazing. I don't think I can do that. Um, You can split the screen in two. Can I? I'm just looking for that. I don't know where it is. <laughs> if you split the screen screw and match the line numbers, it might work. Split. This is what I'm looking yeah, for. Yeah, two panes. Yeah. Um, so here, it's just, let's take these one. Right? It's getting like the number is the first one position is the second one name is the third one and the list is an ordered data structure it's something of course i mean it's obvious you know when we were talking about these order these properties of data structures and some of them seem silly like yeah of course it's not an ordered data structure this is important because in this case this list they all have the same order if for some reason, I have the position here and the number here, the lists would like somehow lose the order, the order that would be really complicated to parse. Um, so here again, it's building a fill list that by order is matching each one of the fields. The first one is a number, the second one is a position, etc. So that's why what it's doing right here. Um, so then, what it tries to do is it's going to build these two lists. And actually, maybe the best thing to do here is to just do it manually. I'm going to open a REPL, super simple, and we're going to see it. Sorry about the change of backgrounds. I'm burning your eyes, probably. So this is the fail list. And this is the actual data list. So I'm going to put here player. And what we're going to do is we're going to zip them. And zip means just matching them order by order. It's like a real zip in your coat, like you're zipping up and you're matching each one of the teeth, you know, with one and the other. It's the same thing. So we'll be matching number with one, position with goalkeeper, name with one, date of birth with these date of birth. So we're just zipping both lists. I'm going to show you how that works. Actually, I'm going to go out of REPL, sorry, different um, one. And how many more are there? Because I can use pretty print here. So again, we will be zipping these two lists. And I'm going, to show, I'm going to show you just what zip actually does. So I'm going to zip player or actually fill list with player and um, zip. I'm going to pre-print this. Oh. And run it. Pretty print is just pretty, is printing, but uh, it can realize that you have data structures and we'll look them like we'll show them better in this case this is what you see so we have a zip number with one position go keeper name one etc again we're just zipping each one of the fields with like the field name with the actual data we have so then 
um, this is, that's the first part. I mean, do you guys follow it? That's the zip part. So we end up with this collection, that it's a list that inside of the list we have, this is the data, we're gonna just call it data or zip data, that we have each one of these elements inside the list contains the name of the field and the actual value of the field. So this is pretty much a dictionary. If we turn, if we remove these parentheses, we join these two things with a colon and we change this thing, we are, you know, we have a dictionary. And actual dictionaries, and that's probably another thing which um, like challenging to get here, and uh, it's a good thing about what Lens Evolution is that dictionaries have this constructor. Up to this point, you guys have been creating dictionaries literally, right? You, if you want to create a list, what you do is you do something like L, right? You create the list literally with square brackets, and then you're doing something with that list. There is also a non-literal way of creating things, and in this case, you can do a list, right? You have a constructor to say it in a way. And so dictionaries also have this constructor, right? That accepts, like really convenient, accepts this format. It will get this format and it will match, this is gonna be the key, this is gonna be the value, this is gonna be the key, this is gonna be the value. That's what it's doing. So if I um, turn, sorry, if I pass just this zip data right here and I pretty print that, I print the dictionary we have just created and run it. There you go. So we end up with the same, with the same, sorry, data structure. It's the same thing we manually built. So two things here. The first one is a zip one that is useful. I mean, if you guys have like you understand it and everything looks fine, there's gonna be something you might reuse in the future. The other one, it's just more. I mean, getting more familiar with Python, Python tools, Py like um, different ways of creating dictionaries, interacting with dictionaries, and just reading more documentation. It's just a, a, a different way of creating a dictionary. Makes sense, the, the solution now? Yeah, yeah, it makes more sense now. Once I started looking up the um, that uh, constructor for dictionaries, because I'd never seen that, and that was just kind of like, magic how it did all those things in one line it's kind of crazy um but i yeah that 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 is making sense to me now part of where i was running into the uh, the issues was um so that, that yeah the first one i i ended up figuring out the second one what you're doing, your solution for the assignment two and three makes some sense, but there, there are parts of that, like the, the uh, set default um, part, you know, part, of, uh, part of, the, of your for loop that doesn't make sense to me. And I think that if, I understood, if, if, if you could run us through solution two, then solution three would probably make sense as well, because they seem very similar. Yeah, sure. Give me one second. All right, definitely. So before I jump to the solution, I don't remember what I wrote. So let's just take it like the same way we did this one, like step by step, and I take the same solution. So what I'm going to do is first of all, get these convenient functions. So, no, sorry, I'm gonna copy this function right here so we can reuse it later, but, but let's take a better look at the, the problem first so we can give some context for future generations. So, um, second project, second assignment is going to be No, sorry, we have the tests somewhere. There you go, here, second assignment. So the second one is not building just a list. I mean, we were, in our previous solution, we were just transforming one by one 
all these players into dictionaries. But now what we will end up with will be something like, if we're gonna say that this thing is a player, we will end up with a, with a list that has something like players, it's gonna be a dictionary, right? That has goalkeeper and it has a list of all these goalkeepers. So here we're gonna have like a player one, player two, player three. three. Um, and the same thing is going to happen with defenders and I don't know, four, four, five, and six, right? So we are just categorizing them. We're adding, first of all, the basic data type that we had was a list containing more lists. We then turn this list to contain dictionaries, but we were still using the outermost data structure with a list. We had a linear, right? We have a linear um, representation of, of our data. So we had uh, a list, right, that contained player one, uh, player two, player three, blah, 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 all of the players. Now what we will be doing is categorizing them. So we're gonna end up with something like goalkeepers, goalkeepers are player one and player two. Um, defenders are going to be player three and player four. So we are categorizing that. This is not a linear data structure. This is a mapping. This, this, that's why we will be using a dictionary for these representations. It is going to be, these are going to be the keys for this. We're going to say, give me all the goalkeepers in this, in this collection of players that, again, the collection of players start right here. Clean it up. And we're going to not just turn each player into a dictionary, but we'll also categorize them or, or like put them in the, in the right place given their position. So that's what we will be doing here. Um, so the, what we need to do is ideally, we could start the solution by first building these players dictionary, right? Players, that is gonna be just a dictionary that has each one of the positions and each one of these positions have an empty list. So you have goalkeeper, we have defenders, we have midfielders, I think, um, midfielders, and we have forwards. Forwards, there you go. Um, goalkeepers, midfielders, forwards. You what? You're good. Um, but I don't think we're testing this right here. Yeah, we're not. But, I mean, let's just do it and the test will probably pass. So then as we are, as we're iterating these four player, uh, or let's do player as list. You got an extra comma. And thank you. You're on fire today. Every day. Yes. <laughs> Um, so as I'm iterating over this outer list, I will be first turning my player into a dictionary. I already know how to do that. I will just use the function. I will show you guys how to import these things before, like, so we don't have to manually copy and paste it in, but for now it just works. So let's just turn this player as list and I'm going to create a player. I'm going to call it player. So uh, players and player, they have some relationship, right? Just the names gives, gives you a hint. And then I will get the position of this player. So I'll do position, it's gonna be a player at position. No, position was the name? Yeah, position, there we go, position. And I will locate the position in the dictionary. So let's say that these guys was just, I don't know, a defender actually a midfielder because we don't have defenders and I will just do in my players dictionary so what I want to do players, what I want to do is I want to put this guy this guy in this place player right I want to put it there so I'm gonna get first from this dictionary 
of players, I will get the midfielder part. So I'm gonna do here in the midfielder bucket, I will append this player that I have just created. So players, midfielders, append, right? Append, added at the end, this particular player. And finally, I will just return the players, this new dictionary with players. So let's see if the tests are passing. There's a, one more thing to check for this. <clears throat> uh, Len, oh yeah, so this is the error. So what is going on here, um, thankfully we are testing this. We, this whole squad that we have at the beginning right here, this squad doesn't have defenders. If I look for defenders, you guys will see there is no, no, not a single match. We have goalkeepers, forwards, midfielders, but we do not have defenders. So our solution is expecting, uh, where is it? It's expecting us not to have this list. So of course I could remove this, right? And I'm gonna just, for the sake of the segment, I'm gonna run it. And uh, go keepers. Oh, I'm manually, so Jason, come on, man. I thought you had it. <laughs> so, um, again, I'm getting the position, and the position is, of course, dynamic. I was hard coding. I was making every player a midfielder. I get the position, so I will get the position dynamically. If the guy is a midfielder, I will get this list. If the guy is a uh, goalkeeper, I will get this other one. So here I'm getting the position dynamically, and I'm accessing this dictionary dynamically. Hey, so let me run the test. Yeah. Just a quick question. The way that you're doing that look up there, you can do the get function in the dictionary as well, right? That's the same thing? Yes. Okay. Yes, exactly. Okay. Uh, we could, um, and maybe the get one with variables looks a little bit better. So it's a good idea, actually. Get position. We can actually turn it to two different um, statements. So I'm going to get uh, position or list, list by position. So I can get right this list from the dictionary first, and then I can do a list by position with a pen, the player. So I can turn it into two different steps. In this, oh, sorry. In this case, I'm doing everything at once. I want, I'm getting the list and I'm right away after I get the list, I'm just appending this other one, I'm turning it into two different statements, whatever. There is no better way of doing this. It's whatever looks better for you guys. You know, it's just whatever looks cleaner. Um, so if we run the tests, there you go, it's still working. Of course, we cannot hard code this list because if we ever get a, a defender, I mean, it's not working. We can hard code it, we, we cannot know at um, like in this static time, like when we're writing the algorithm, we don't know which positions we were gonna get. So we have to manual, sorry, we will have to dynamically build this dictionary, right? As we get players, we will have to figure out, hey, is this the first player ever? Yes, it's the first goal, it's the first goalkeeper we have. So I will turn, like I will initialize this position. You know, as I'm getting more players, I'm checking if I have ever seen this position, if I, I haven't got a, a position, in this position I will create the list. So what I'm gonna do is, um, right here again, the, the thing is empty. I'm gonna do it completely manually first. So what I'm gonna do here is super simple. I'm gonna check if position not in players, And that means, let me actually, I'm gonna do it, maybe obvious for you guys, but uh, let's just go over this again. So we have a dictionary, we have X, one and, I know, Y, two. Uh, we can check print if X in D, right? I run it, 
it's true. Uh, y, y, sorry, in D is also true. It's anything else, I don't know, O in D is gonna be false, I don't know, two. I mean, it's just checking keys, it's not checking values. So two in D is false, one in, in D is also false, so we're just checking for keys. It's similar to doing keys, like check if key is in, sorry, if this particular key, if X is in D dot keys, but I'm writing it in this way is much better. So I just check if the key is present in the dictionary. So what I'm gonna check is if this position is not part of this dictionary, I will first just initialize the position. So I'm gonna say players at position, I'm gonna initialize it as an empty list. As simple as that. And I will just leave the same solution that I have. You guys can choose whatever you like. And I will run the test again. There you go, and it's still working. So, <clears throat> makes sense up to this point. There is one small tuning to do, but uh, the set the full one, by the way. Makes sense? Yeah, yeah, for the most part. I, I might have to watch it through one more time. <laughs> but, yeah, you've got a lot, there's a lot of things going on there. Um, yeah, no, it's it's uh, it's definitely getting clear. I, I appreciate that, Santiago. Cool. So the probably the most important part here, like uh, to to be completely sure about it, is how we're changing the 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 big outside outer data structure in these assignments. So this is a huge change. We had a linear data structure. We had a list with players. And now we have a dictionary that has each player organized by their positions. So this is gonna be, this is the important part. Um, so then we end up with this list, right? With a goalkeeper with, and it's got a list of things. So one more tuning to this is this, what you guys have seen, I, are seeing here, checking if something is already part of the dictionary and if it's not part of the dictionary set a default value right this is going to be the default value of this position is a really common pattern we do this all the time in python so there is a nice function we can use method actually we can use so we don't have to manually write these all the time and it's the set default one so i'm going to go back again to our dictionary so i'm going to print the dictionary at the end what i want to do is so let's say that I want to check if X is already present, and if it's not present, I want to initialize it with five, for example. So we're going to do something like if X in D, or actually not in D, uh, D at X is going to be five, whatever. So of course, in this case, it's going to still be one because I already had it, but if I don't have X, all right, I'm going to run it again. I have just commented it out. I will see that X is five. I am just setting a default value if this key is not part of the dictionary. So the method for that in Python is set default. So I'm gonna just do set default. I'm gonna say which key, X with what default value, five, as simple as that. So um, I can completely comment this code out. So if, again, if X is not present, I get x equals five, the default one, but if x is actually present, I get, of course, the value that x had. So again, I can completely replace these two lines of code with something like players, set default, 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 there you go. This position by default should be list. So if, if you don't have this key, please turn it into a list. If you have it, do nothing, basically. I'll just remove these two lines. Oh, I'm still running it manual. I'll run the test and it's still working. So it's just 
small addition. I mean, you guys don't have to use it. It's just a different way of writing things. If, if this looks good for you and it makes sense, that's great. So comments, how do you guys feel it? By the way, I'm gonna pass here the, uh, I can, I'm gonna comment this out and save it. There you go. So you can keep it. All right. Useful, makes sense. Yeah, thanks a lot for, for taking the time to do that. I really appreciate it. Yeah, there's no worries at all. Um, we have a really interesting, I mean, the, sorry, before I move forward, this third, the third uh, problem here, uh, boop, 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 segment three, it's pretty much of the same thing. It's a little bit more complicated. So I think it's a great idea just to leave it to you guys because it's gonna be kind of the same thing as before, but now you need a new level of categorizing players, right? You don't have to just categorize them by position, but you also have to have one level, one outer level that it's by country. It's like two levels. So I think it's gonna be a great candidate for you guys to practice. Nevertheless, today's project is like a hundred percent related to dictionaries. It's really good for dictionaries. Cool. Very good. So now we got five minutes. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I will kill this session if you guys don't have any questions and I will create a new one so we can count attendance on the other one and this recording can be separated. Sounds good? All right, thanks Santiago. All right, see you in five. Thank you. Bye. Yeehaw.